Hello everyone and welcome. In this video we're going to be talking about unibody versus body on frame. And for your viewing pleasure, I have taken my time on these incredible drawings here. So here we have a unibody and essentially what it is is the body and the chassis are all one. Uh, you probably can't tell that by this drawing, but basically uh, I kind of labeled A pillar, B pillar, and C pillar here. So you can kind of get an idea. This is the front of the car uh, because it probably doesn't make any sense looking at this. But essentially it's all just one uh, body, just one piece. Uh, the chassis is all one, uh, which is very different from body on frame. So all of the stresses will pass through uh, basically the entire vehicle here, whereas we have a body on frame where you lower this truck body down on this frame, whereas the stresses placed on the truck are all passing through the frame. And so that's the key difference between them is kind of how the stresses are distributed. And so what is the advantage of a unibody? Well, it's more rigid because the entire body is resisting that flexing uh, as you're going over different road surfaces, driving in different road conditions. Uh, and so that improves handling because the body is so rigid. Uh, whereas this, you know, you're gonna have more flexness because you've essentially got like a ladder, a flat plane, uh, which can twist and bend rather than this structural uh, unibody, which can help resist all of that flexing. It's also lighter weight um, because with this frame, in order to make sure that it doesn't have a lot of flexing, you have to make it really large, really heavy, really rigid. Um, and so by making it so beefy, uh, in order to you know, make it so that it can withstand all those stresses, you add a ton of weight. So with the unibody design, because you can distribute all of the stresses, you can have a lighter design overall. And so of course, less weight, better acceleration, better handling, better uh, fuel economy, um, pretty much better everything. Uh, so, and that's purely because you don't have that beefy frame because you're distributing the stresses more evenly. And then also because you're using less material because it's lighter weight, uh, you can save on cost. So it can be cost effective. So what are the advantages of body on frame? Well, from a noise, vibration, and harshness standpoint, NVH, uh, this is kind of, kind of be ideal because you can isolate the body of the car from the frame. So you can have isolators on this frame, uh, and essentially you've got another suspension uh, between your frame and your body, and so you can have a more comfortable ride uh, and a quieter ride using this kind of style depending on how you engineer it. Also, it's modular, so you could have different bodies that you put on the same frame, uh, and that can save cost if you just, just design one frame and then you have different bodies that you put on it, uh, which used to be done a lot more commonly with SUVs and trucks and things like that, uh, but things are tending to go towards unibody. And it's also, you know, if you update uh, the current body, you can keep the same frame, so you can save in development costs with that. Now there are some common misconceptions I think out there as far as what are the additional benefits of body on frame. So I'm going to have another category which I'm going to call it depends. And basically what I'm saying here is that you know these aren't necessarily advantages for body on frame. Um, some people say you know cost of repair because it's modular. Uh, you won't have to bend out the, the unibody like you would have to do in a collision here. Uh, totally depends. You could have a modular design here um, and depending on the location of impact, uh, the materials used, the strength, uh, all these different things. Um, you know, and also this is going to absorb all of the impact with the whole body rather than the frame or, you know, the body individually. So it, it definitely depends. Uh, it's not necessarily an advantage for body on frame. Also durability and towing. So because uh, the frame has to be um, large and heavy, uh, it tends to be more durable. That doesn't mean that a unibody cannot be durable or useful for towing. You could just make it beefier and heavier uh, and have a same weight vehicle as body on frame and have it be just as beefy and heavy. The advantage of this is, is that you can get away with less weight. Um, so it's not necessarily uh, an advantage, uh, an inherent advantage of the design. It's just that because you have to use a beefy frame, it's gonna be durable, it's gonna be better for towing, um, but that doesn't necessarily mean you can't do the same with a unibody, which you absolutely could. Uh, and off-road use, and I think there's a little bit of logic to this because you will have some flexing in the frame here with the body on frame versus the chassis of the unibody, you know, the whole thing's not gonna flex as much, and so you can kind of conform to surface irregularities better with a body on frame. I think that does make sense, but I don't think it makes sense because, you know, ultimately you want to have your suspension doing all of the articulation, not the actual body of the car itself. You don't want your whole body uh, twisting and things like that. So it makes sense to have a good suspension design for off-road use 
rather than just body on frame uh, and then have flexing in the frame. That's not what you want. Ideally, you want the suspension to be doing the flexing and the articulation uh, as that's what it's made for is to keep the tires contacting on the ground. So hopefully that clears up the differences between you to body and body on frame. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them below. Thanks for watching.